Three, two, one. On Pax. Three, two. God, Pax is... God, this game's so slow. Three, two, one. On Dex. Jeez. Alright, welcome back to... Whatever the hell this deck is. Last night, I was just on Magic Arena, trying to figure out a deck that I could play today. Um, I really wanted to do something with Morag, but I didn't know what. This is a standard deck. It is a standard black, red, green deck that I am somehow going to make work. It's a bunch of cards that care about lands. Now, there's not four. There's not many four ofs because I don't really want to spend like rares or mythic rares on this. I literally just have like. It's just extra cards. It's just a pile of cards. It's just a pile of cards that all care about lands. Or permanents in the case of Storm the Festival. So the plan is, you ramp until you get Morag, and then you just take extra combats. So if I can take one extra combat in this entire game, I will be happy. I will be so happy. Alright, let's do it. Let's somehow win. I have no idea how I'm gonna win. I'm playing ranked because I'm in bronze anyway, so... I was really into this game during the Australian lockdown, but the lockdown has been lifted in Australia, and now I can just do something else. I've got other stuff I want to do, so I'm doing that instead. I'm just over Magic Arena for the moment. Oh god. What have I done? Let's keep it, let's keep it. If it doesn't work, I can always just cut the game. <laughs> Okay, maybe I have too many lands in this deck. Um, I can take a bunch of turns, or a bunch of combats at least. But I don't think I can get through this just absolute garbage life game. I've only seen like two other people with my Fibbletip avatar. That is a pretty good hand. I have the two red I need. I have a Morag. A Shambling Gas for a turn one play. I think I'll keep that. He double spelled, didn't he? No, I didn't double spell. Okay, yeah. The color didn't change, and I was like, what? I declared it as a blocker. That's just weird. Yeah, it's very weird. Hmm. How do I not die? Uh, it becomes day next turn. I need to cast two spells, which is definitely not going to happen. I can play Ren and Seven and make a 3-3. Three, three. How have I got... <sighs> Alright, how about I run in 7 and then just put all my lands in? We blossom and thrive. I'm choosing to ramp over doing other stuff. Innkeeper. Let's add three innkeepers. Let's take away a deadly dispute and a rebirth. Done. Okay. I can do this. This this has red. I have red in this deck, but I can always use treasures to make that red instead. We'll be fine. We'll be totally, totally fine. Uh, what is this? What does it do? It was a spirit warrior base power and dropped us two three. All right, so I need to attack now. God, you're spending how much money? How much mana? <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 mana to make it an angel. Make it a 4-4 four, four angel with two counters on it. That whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That is so not worth it. You're spending 10 mana to make a 6-6. Six, six, that whenever it deals damage, draw a card. That's... Awful. 
Uh, let's fill the ruin. Let's go look for a red. Uh, so, nope. No attacks. I mean, I make him do it. I make him spend the mana. Storm of the Festival. The only issue with Storm of the Festival is it doesn't get Morag. Which is sad, but I can deal with it. Let's play a Ren in 7. Let's make a Tree Folk to block with. Oh, okay. Who plays Decisive Denial? See, you're spending so much mana to do that. It's... Like, I'm gonna spend 4 mana next turn, kill it. Okay, sure. I'm gonna spend 4 mana next turn, kill it, and then you're gonna have to... You would have wasted 6 mana total. I don't... I just don't get it. I just... I don't get it. Or... I could go for a Storm the Festival play, and risk it. Oh. Wow, dude, I'm drawing so many lands. Uh, let's play a forest. Do I do a Storm the Festival? Yeah, okay, so Binding of the Gods is the correct play, but Storm the Festival... ...is the YouTube play. I make an 8-8. That's pretty good! That's pretty good. Cool. Oh, whoops. Screwed that up. Uh, so he's got a counter? What do you- Oh. Maybe he doesn't have a counter. What has he got? Uh, let's add a green. Destroy target non-land permanent and opponent controls. Let's kill the spirit you've spent so much money to create. Ah, thank you. And... Let's not do anything else. I need to wait. Because I die otherwise. Yep. 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 Okay. Yeah, just draw all of them. Sure. Uh, let's destroy... Nothing. <laughs> Ooh! Phyleth! Okay. Okay. This could be good. Uh, with that mana, let's add another green. Okay, how do I do this? Uh, I need 10... 16 mana total. I've got 10, 11 mana at the moment. 11, 12, 13 mana. Whenever a creature enters, I make... Oh, uh, non-token creatures, right? Damn. So if I go for this first, if I go for Storm of the Festival first... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's sack that for a green. Storm of the Festival. No, that's fine. That's fine. I still could be in this. Right? Am I still in this? Let's go for a Phylath. I create a 0-1 green plant creature token for each basic land I control. Which is how many? Seven. It doesn't help me block. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Green. No, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go to combat. And that's it. I could have used the treasure. Why did it... Why did it want me to tap my creature over my treasure? I could have used... I think that honestly screwed me up just then. Like, I could have used my treasure instead of using... A Shire to attack. When did they become, become five threes? Yeah, like, it's game over. 
It's game over because the game chose to chat my 1414 instead of my treasure. So I block. It doesn't matter how I block here, right? They all have trample. So I can chuck three under one of them, four under the other. I take one, two, three. I'm dead. You gotta be kidding me! I came so close and the game. <sighs> I can do this. This deck will work. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. I, I need to get one win. Just one single win for this deck. And then I'm like, then I can recommend it. <laughs> what is this? Maybe it's my mana base. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Let's try it. I probably shouldn't, but let's do it. I'm killing his white and black source. Um, because it's pretty damn beneficial for him. Plus, I need more mana. I need, like, my colors. And if I do it on my turn... If a player plays a land or casts a spell, if she has a card type of the exile card, deals two damage to that player. Wow, dude, really? Yeah, sure, I'll take two damage for playing one land. Oh, it's got first strike? Blech. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, dude. Path to the festival. It's player land, right? Cool. So, if I... Play a swamp. I'll take the damage. Path to the festival. Let's go get a... Another mountain. Put that innkeeper on the bottom. Don't need that. Let's go to combat. Let's swing with one. Keep one back. Ooh. The only reason he's blocking at the moment is because he wants to play lands and not take any damage. So I'm just going to create a treasure token. Maybe that was a mistake, but we'll see. Yeah, so he's taking damage for that. Most likely on my turn, I'm just going to burn down the house anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Come on, play land. What? Hold on, what is this? Whenever an opponent attacks... Sure. Whenever an opponent attacks one or more Planeswalkers you control, put a loyalty counter on each Planeswalker you control. Whenever an opponent permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or ability, an opponent controls draw a card. Sure. You know what it dies to? I burn down the house. Let's burn down the house first. Goodbye. Let's play a black. Yep. And an innkeeper. What do you got for me? Skyclave Apparition. Ah, uh, what are you taking? Kind of a dumb question. Pass of the festival again. Jesus. Alright, let's do it. Path of the festival. Let's keep going. Let's thin out my deck. Eventually, if I get rid of all of the lands, I gotta, gotta get there eventually, right? Yep, auto pay. Let's grab a forest. Put that swamp on the bottom. I've definitely got too many lands in this deck. Ah, uh, let's pass the turn. 11 mana available. 11. Kaya. Great. So basically, I'm just not gonna play the game anymore. I feel like this deck really needs uh, extra turns as well. Maybe it does need to be, is it? This deck just isn't working. I'm just, Oh, okay, I'll take that. Cool, and let's go look for another one, I guess. Basically, all I'm doing is just doing this so I can scry one more time. I'll take that. That's definitely worth it. Pass turn. Stonebind is familiar. Don't counter a Shire, thank you. Attackers. Is... 
sure. I would love to have the investigate card though. Uh, sure. Or should I wait? No, no, no. If I do it now, I can kill the apparition and get a 2 2 blocker. Cool. Oh, he's going to use the apparition again. Far out. Actually, I'm kind of fine with that. If he uses the apparition, I get a... I get a 4-4 four four if I kill his creature. Alright, I'm out of forest. Oh my god. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so I can do it for 9. Let's go to combat. Let's attack. Force him to block. Uh, sure. What was that for? Why did you double block that? Ward discard a card. Whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, exile up to one target card from the graveyard. If a creature card was exiled this way, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Sure, I lose a Shire. There's one off in the deck anyway, so. Skyclave Apparition. Get rid of my. Sure. If I kill the apparition, I get a 4 4. Can I please get a card? C can I just get a Morag? Like, I feel like I've gone through so much of my deck. Oh, sure. Another apparition. Yep. Jeez. Oh my god, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm so dumb, I just passed through blocks. Ah, uh, This ga- I hate this game so much right now. I'm losing my mind. Well, that's game. Maybe I'm just out of touch. Maybe it's the kids who are wrong. <laughs> I passed through blocks when I was supposed to create a blocker and block with the apparition. I was supposed to create the... I passed through the blocking stage when I was supposed to create the... Or make the land a creature, block the apparition, create the 2-2 blocker, which would then help me out further. But, Jesus. Well, we know one thing at least. From this almost 40 minutes of game time, we know one, th we know one thing. Card draw is important, and too many lands is a bad thing. 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 lands. I feel like that's too high, but I also have like a ton of ramp as well to like get it out of my deck anyway. Eh, look, we'll figure it out. We'll work out the kink soon. Maybe I need to go back to blue to try and get some extra turns going as well. Because that worked really, really well. So maybe like it needs to be a four color deck, in which case kill me. Because I don't, somehow need to work out how that's going to work. <sighs> Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. This was pain. This was just truly and utterly pain. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> I was picturing this kid just sitting there going... <laughs> Wouldn't that have been funnier? Ah, welcome back to another movie commentary 